There's no doubt. What's going on guys and gals? So uh, hope y'all enjoy the new video. Pretty sure this is going to be the first one that shows the new intro to and, and rolled right into a uh, video. So really appreciate uh, likes and comments and stuff on the new intro. We're real happy with it. So brand new first video after the intro. We're going to talk about something that's been a little bit What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, controversy? Yeah, not, I wouldn't word. say controversial, but I think it's been up in the air. Kind of and up in the air. A lot of people that work with the different projects have uh, have expressed their sentiment to me, but are kind of like, um, we're under the same impression that, you know, it was the same genetics or whatever, but... Some brand new stuff. This is the first time this has actually been proved. Yeah. It's the so. first time we've ever bred the genes to each other um, to prove it, and um, it's the first time ever, so... so for those who don't know... Harry Walsh, Monster Morphs, Dustin's behind the camera at Night Stalker Exotics. All right, so first things first. So the pairing on this was what? So the male um, was my male was a cryptic, het G-Stripe, het Desert Ghost. And then the female was a pastel, uh, het Amir, het Desert Ghost from uh, Marco Van Heeren um, overseas. So that's Dustin's snake. So we did a breeding loan to try to prove it out. Um, so we bred the cryptic male to the het Amir female. And uh, we made a visual. So. so basically what we're doing is trying to see if cryptic and a mirror are the same thing. So that's kind of the big secret here that yeah. we're talking about. And we say the same thing and not allelic simply because the Amir gene and cryptic gene both came from the Desert Ghost line. And that was started with the Bells a long time ago. So if it was a totally different line, a different import or something, I would say allelic. But I think this proves them to be the exact same gene. Same, same gene. So basically what happened is um, a mutation came along and was discovered or uh, created, it was, uh, found, found <laughs> whatever you want to use, and that project got sent elsewhere before the original founder of it realized what had what happened. Yep. And then as the generations passed down, it pops back up and people thought, well, the probably didn't even know about this original set yep. so they started calling it something else so nobody's really at wrong or yeah there's no there's, fault here there's, there's no or, fault or anything. or anything to really argue about it, it just happens like when you work these recessive projects especially if it's something new you really never really know what you're getting into one person had it didn't quite realize exactly what it was or hadn't even found it yet i don't think it, i don't think it popped out visually and so later on, after the whole Desert Ghost thing, whatever they bred it into at the Bells, you know, they're shipping Desert Ghost out, not knowing it was in there and not seeing the difference. But anyway, let's quit talking. Let's check them out. All right, so here's a, a couple of the babies from the clutch. You'll see on the, your right, my left, we got a visual cryptic. And then just, just a normal um, head cryptic, pos head, DG, pos head, uh, G stripe. But right away, you'll see, you can grab that one. The difference in pattern and color, especially the neck area and the eye stripes on the cryptics. Real wide, and it's just a different color overall. Different. Head's lighter, definitely brighter. Brighter the belly, you get like that white kind of um, blended in pattern. There's, I mean, there, there's no doubt that that is cryptic or a mirror, whatever, whichever one you want to call yeah. it. But there's, there's no doubt that it's not a normal. And from this pairing, really the only two visual. Well, three. You get three visual genes from this, and it's not a uh, it's not desert ghost, and it's not pastel. So yeah. right. it has to be the cryptic. So 
Alright, so let's get over here on this hit. So on this hit animal, it doesn't even really look normal. You can see a lot of the cryptic or a mirror uh, influence on this. So that's a uh, really interesting think, here, this result. One, this one will show that better. This one I was a toss up for me if it was a visual cryptic or not. I mean, you get some of the crazy pattern on the sides, but I mean, when you sit them side by side, they don't, they don't really compare. I think we're just getting the head influence on the, uh, this animal here. That's crazy. Obviously it is a uh, much different animal than normal. Which heads do have an influence for the, everyone out there. I mean, they play a role. Yep. Most definitely. On, on any of the resistance. But that's a big, I mean, that's a big influence on that. So. Yeah, this one I was stumped when it first shed. I'm like, is that a cryptic, not a cryptic? But then when you put them down, you kind of see the difference. Yep. So I ended up with two two of the hits and four visuals? Yep, four visuals. Four visuals. So the, the sex odds were good as well um, as the, the phenotype odds or whatever you want to call it, uh, mutations. Uh, we ended up with 1.2 on the cryptic stuff that are Posset DG, Posset G stripe. And it was 1.1 for the posets, and then a male pastel um, double visual double cryptic video. desert ghost, which is. Was, oh, was, you got what? Yeah. Oh, just, the <laughs> showstopper. Yeah. The conclusive oh, evidence. Well, that wasn't this, in uh, the box. This project, right? <laughs> it was in the pocket. <laughs> <laughs> so these guys, um, you've seen a cryptic, you've seen uh, the normal head influence stuff. Cryptic's still untapped, though. I mean, there's still so much to do with it. I mean, I think on Morph Market, there might be. A dozen or so for sale. Yeah. I mean, I know they're out there and people got them and they pop up in people's collections, but I don't think we've seen the extent that Cryptic's going to go to in the future, yeah. especially having Desert Ghost already kind of linked together with it since they are so common together. Yeah. Um, and Clown, too. And so Krypton and Clown, yeah. You yeah. got the, yeah. the allelicness of the Clown and the, uh, Cryptic making the Kryptons. I will say after making visual Cryptics myself now, I think you can tell the difference between a Krypton and a Cryptic. Yeah? Yeah. I don't do clowns. So I've been I've been looking at a lot of pictures to see because I've always heard that they uh, you can't tell the difference. But I'm seeing a lot of differences between just a visual Cryptic and a Krypton. But uh, when you add other genes, it's probably not going to be... It's probably going to be harder, yeah. It's not going to be as easy to tell. So you got these guys. Let's show, uh, let's yep. show the mail, yeah. Get the yep. banger out. Get the banger. All right, here we got a pastel Cryptic Desert Ghost. Phenomenal. Just an amazing looking snake. I mean, as as Marco worked the Amir gene over, where, you know where I got my hits from. As he made different combos, I think me and Eric both looked at it and saw a lot of similarities between Cryptic and Amir, and he's worked some different stuff into it. And uh, it's definitely an amazing, amazing gene. It's very unlocked potential here in the future. And being that they were the Amir, it was a lot of Desert Ghost stuff and Cryptic's Desert Ghost stuff uh, together. It was kind of a, you know, a, a kind of a no-brainer. And then doing the pairing, it's it's pretty much proven now. I think this was the uh, conclusive evidence that we needed when, uh, in the clutch when we got this guy right here. Yeah, no doubt. No um, doubt that, I mean. Yeah. You could raise a little bit of questions with that, but not much. I mean, you could tell that's definitely cryptic. But th when this guy came out, no doubt. Yep. Cryptic is the same as a mirror. For sure. I 100% I agree. That's something that people don't think about when they're breeding ball pythons is, you know, the possibilities of things that you can create and things you get to prove out. Yeah. Um, it's not. It's more than just breeding snakes and making cool stuff. It's it's learning about the genetics and how things interact with each other. Yeah, this was a cool experiment. Like it just so happened that I had a cryptic breeder male, and he had the Amir female. We're like, hey, let's let's go for it this year and see if it's a um, a little or the same or whatever. And um, sure, he comes out with this. And this is, I mean, this is simple, really. Yeah. I mean, if you look at it, it's just a pastel um, desert ghost cryptic. Yep. But I mean, the future, I mean, add yellow belly. I mean, you got great flames and stuff. Add yellow belly and she stuff like that in there. I mean, you're making amazing snakes. Pied, I mean. No doubt. And I think the first the first snake that I got hooked on to it when, before I invested into the Amir project was the uh, the Peter Desert Ghost cryptic that you know, Marco had made overseas. And, you know, you know, I want to get invested into it. And like I said, after a couple of years, you buy into something and you start to see combos and you know, start raising questions. People start talking about it. And, uh, you know, it's good to find out now, you know, you know, definitely, definitely find out for sure. No doubt. So, I mean, this, this is a, this is a great example of two people who came up with an idea. They both had the animals to use to try to prove something out that the world, and it's not just, you know, it's just not these two guys or it's just not me. The there's, whole world needed people, to know the yeah. answer. To there's this. people all over. I mean, you got, um, I can't remember the breeder's name exactly, but I, another gene overseas, he came out with Gizmo, which I think is going to prove to be cryptic. Um, and then you got a mirror, and then I believe um, 
in the UK you have the migraine. And uh, I know Tony Hersey's working on that to try to prove migraine and a mirror to be the same, to be the same as well. Or a lilac in that case because I think that founding animal came from somewhere else. Came from elsewhere. Yeah. Gotcha. So. But I mean, it's, it's good to know. And now, you know, this can, I mean, it's good info. Absolutely. Yeah, so. Definitely a great project to get into and uh, definitely want to see what other uh, combos people make in the future. Oh, Hopefully yeah. people pick it up on it. And they want you to buy these other snakes because they're not <laughs> yeah, keeping them. They're all sale. <laughs> all for sale here shortly. Yeah. Well, we really appreciate Dustin and Eric coming out, uh, showcasing this project and showcasing this absolutely stunning animal. I mean, just mind-blowing. Absolutely beautiful. The head so, is amazing. Yeah. Best part is it's desert ghost, so it'll stay yellow. Yeah. No doubt. Get so, nothing but better with age. But uh, we appreciate it again. Appreciate everybody watching. Uh, hit the like, subscribe, like, subscribe, all that stuff, wherever the buttons are. Chaz. I don't know how they do that. And uh, we'll smash see. the like button, punch yeah. the subscribe button, comment. Let us know what let us know what y'all's opinion is on this project. See if it's the same as ours. And uh, see you on next go around. Be out. Thanks for watching Hardwired Exotics, and make sure you subscribe.